Are you ready? It's time for another great infotaining show filled with power-packed business and life information. Welcome to Your Future Is Now with your host, Jim Grant, and co-host, Don McGrath. Want to know how to create a fantastic TED Talk? Or how you can become an author or a speaker or build your own online business. Maybe it's reaching a level of success in your life that you deserve. Their show is designed to provide information to assist you towards your success and destiny. Each week, Jim and Don will interview a special guest and share exciting lessons. So grab a pen and paper, take some notes. Thanks for joining the show. Now, here's Jim. Well, welcome to the show, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Jim Grant, your host of Your Future Is Now. We are sponsored by SpeakersPathway.com. In mentioning SpeakersPathway.com, we had one of their executive training directors on the show last week. That was Mr. Bill Heinrich. Bill is one of these individuals who is real big into clarity in your mind, how to overcome obstacles, how to disarm all the problems in your life, get focused on the true energy of life. And he gave away some free gifts last week on the show. And if you want to get some of those free gifts, just go to speakerspathway.com, click on the complimentary gifts. You can see Bill there. You can see Koji, who will evaluate your audio, any video that you've got there. And anything that you get there is free of charge. No strings attached whatsoever. And because of the the way we are there at speakerspathway.com, we provide value. We don't do any sales pitches. We were attracted to retired Lieutenant Colonel Mark Green. And that leads us to our two wonderful guests that's on the day. We got a young lady by the name of Joanna Zupas, and we got Mr. Eric Putt with us today, and we'll be getting with those in just a moment. But Joanna, you and I, we crossed paths there with uh, Mark Green, his summit there, and when I saw you put on your performance of how real estate and veterans loans and all that comes into play, I knew I had to have you on the show. Welcome to the show, Joanna. Thank you, Jim. I appreciate that. Um, yeah, the the um, Get Resilient Summit was is a really great platform for a lot of veterans. And what you were talking about as well, the mental health aspects of it and getting your head right and the clarity. And um, a part of that is also, you know, having the right information at your disposal. That is so true because, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Joanna is joining us from um, Winter Park, Florida. That's in Orlando area there. She is with Keller Williams uh, Real Estate. She is a world-class, uh, she provides world-class service. She's an ex- gets exceptional results for her clients. But most importantly, I think this comes down to where her, <clears throat> by knowing Joanna, she treats people just like she would like to be treated if she was going to buy a home. Am I correct on that, Joanna? Absolutely. Um, I think everything should be a win-win situation um, or you have no deal. Everyone has to feel comfortable and happy with the end results. And I truly believe in that. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Because it's a total uh, win-win situation for everyone. And, and there's nothing hidden or anything like that or any. All questions are answered, which is the right thing to do. And you are associated with Mr. Eric Putt. He is with um, Waterstone Mortgage. And he is a specialist in, in going to provide some great information for veterans' loans. And even our producer, Ben, told me before the show, Ben is a former Marine. He served in Iraq. He says, I've got some questions here about you know VA loans myself. So we're just going to start right out. And, Eric, uh, welcome to the show. Tell us a little bit about yourself, sir. Well, thank you, Jim, for having me. I appreciate it. Thanks for the opportunity and looking forward to Talking to you and getting some information out. Um, I'm a mortgage lender. I'm also in the Winter Park, Florida area, which is just outside of downtown Orlando. Grew up there and uh, been a lender for about 15 years um, in that local market, um, which is where you know our primary business comes from. I can lend in pretty much any state. I think there's just a few that where, where Waterstone cannot lend. Um, you know, been doing it a long time. Top producer in the area, Waterstone Mortgage. We're a national mortgage company, a direct lender and um, 
you know, again, just thanks for thanks for having me today. Well, you're quite welcome because we had to have you on the show because all the information I saw that you and Joanna provided to the veterans there, I thought, oh, my goodness gracious, you fit our wheelhouse because Mark Green, he recruited Dandy Don McGrath, my co my, the co-founder of Speakers Pathway Coalition, my business partner. He's also my co-host. He's in Troy, New York. He's with Family Today, and they honored his dad because his dad was a prisoner of war during World War II. I'm a Vietnam veteran. I also served a total of 31 years, 28 in the reserve, um, three active duty. My son has been active since 2009. He's served multiple tours of duty overseas in Iraq and Afghanistan. So when we say we got some skin in the game, ladies and gentlemen, we've earned our stripes. And, you know, Eric, looking at your credentials, you've earned your stripes, too, because you're a member of the President's Club. Is that correct, sir? Yeah, fortunate enough to, you know, uh, be busy enough, I should say, and to help a, enough families out to be in that ranking. So that's a good honor. And we try to uh, stay in that president's club, too, which is a good thing. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Because, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Joanna and Eric, they meet the criteria for us to be, you know, like we were on. We were all on uh, Colonel Mark Green's show and they're on our show because they meet our criteria because they bring value to the audience. There was no sales pitches or anything like that. So sit back and if you want to uh, join us and ask some questions, please uh, let them know and he'll bring them up to our attention. Call in or whatever. Uh, just go to Toganet, T-O-G-I-N-E-T dot com. It's got a phone number there and frequently ask questions. It's got all the information there. But, you know, Joanna, I want to get to you. Uh, when it comes to buying a home, let's say I walk in and I'm a veteran. Mm-hmm. And I've been told that, you know, I could use my veterans benefit one time back in 83, I think it was. And I was told somewhere that once I use it, I can't use it anymore. Is that correct? So there is eligibility is reusable depending on the circumstances. So normally, if you have paid off your prior VA loan and dispose of the property, you can have your used eligibility restored for additional use. And there is also a situation where, as a one-time only basis, you may have your eligibility restored if your prior VA loan has been paid in full, and but you still own that property. Okay. Um, so it's got, as long as everything's in good standing, you're good to go, huh? Correct. And, mm-hmm. and Eric definitely can chime in on that as well. Yeah, please yeah. do. I would just follow up and saying that, you know, if you're, if you are um, eligible for your, uh, VA home loan, if you have used it in the past, anytime you've used it, so it's called subsequent use, you know, if you've used it before. So whether that's your second, third, fourth, or fifth time, um, if the veteran is required to pay a funding fee, and that's something that I'm sure we'll cover, um, the funding fee, which is a requirement of the VA loan, it will be, they'll pay a higher funding fee that second or subsequent use time. But there's no restriction on how many times they could get their VA home loan. It just means that the second, third, fourth, fifth, whatever, after the first one, that the funding fee that's required will be a little bit more expensive. But it's also financed into the loan and, again, something that I'm sure we'll cover. As well. Sure, sure. That sounds real good. Also, too, um, I was just thinking, in, in a, what's the general process if I walk in, I'm a veteran, and I walk into your office there, Joanna, and, and Eric's there, and I say, hey, I'm, I'm just wanting to know what the process is of obtaining a VA loan. And I'm very, I imagine like most veterans, if they're like me, they're very ignorant of the process. So what would be the, you know, give me some advice there, please. So I think the first thing is I would send them to a lender because the lender would be able to see what their eligibility was, um, what their minimum service threshold was, and they also have to get a certificate of eligibility, um, which is something that either Eric can get um, or if for some reason he's not able to get it, the veteran would be able to get it. Um, so, Eric, did you want to? Yeah, I mean, you know, we in the, in the home purchase business, um you know, realtors are out there for a reason and uh, the experts in the field. And unless somebody's paying cash, they need a loan. Right. So, I mean, the, the first thing is to get them over to a lender. So when in this case, the uh, you know, in the example of the veteran contacting me, um, we get it started right away. You know, we want to get a loan application completed uh, as soon as possible. 
there's various ways to do it, you know, especially now's day and age, you can do a loan app on your phone, on your tablet, but, you know, we certainly prefer, you know, I still kind of call it the old fashioned way over the phone, but we want to first and foremost, get the application completed. Once we have the application completed, we have the ability as a lender to order the certificate of eligibility through the VA portal right away, right there on the spot. And as long as it's available in the portal, I mean, it comes back in a matter of seconds. My processor or somebody on my team gets that ordered. Um, we want to get that certificate of eligibility right away, right? Because that's that's the thing saying saying yes, you can do it. It's the it's the form that's telling us if, um, in the case of like let's say a disabled veteran, they may be exempt from the funding fee that I talked about earlier. That certificate of eligibility will tell us that, and it's something you've got to do right away, right out the gate, and it's very easy to do and very quick to do. If the veteran or active duty service member, that borrower, does does not, if, if for some reason we're not getting the certificate of eligibility to come back right away through the automated system, we then just simply have to get a copy of their DD, uh, Form DD-214, uh, and then we take that, order it, and maybe it's 24, 48 hours. Getting the certificate of eligibility, first and foremost, get it ordered, but then it's like any other loan transaction. You know, we're going to run credit. We're going to ask the right questions, income, assets. Do they want to put money down? Do they not want to put money down? Uh, get a real good feel for their budget. Um, and from that point, we're able to tell Joanna, you know, the real estate agent, hey, this is what he or she can do. This is what they're comfortable spending and get out there and find a house. I mean, that's a very Cliff Notes version, but a lot of that is covered immediately, right, right up front. And uh, we cover a lot, but we do it in a very streamlined manner. Sure. sure. That's a lot quicker than the process I went through back in 1980. Sure. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Where's your DD-214? And I says, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I had to go home and dig that thing out of the, uh, I guess, the chest or wherever we had it, you know, and then had to make copies of it. And everything was more, a lot more, you know, old-fashioned. You know, you got to print, make copies, make sure you keep the original, yada, da, 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 all those good things. Because back in those days, they were real big about, you know, You've got to send a, a copy of the original because once you send the original and you you know you don't have the original anymore, then it's a copy of a copy. And there's a lot of headaches that that your system, the system we have today at our fingertips, it just really you know annihilates a lot of that and a lot of that stuff. And also you know quicker in time too. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be right back right after these messages. SpeakersPathway.com is the proud sponsor of Your Future Is Now, a show dedicated and aligned in perfect harmony with the vision and mission of Speakers Pathway. Dr. Sony Jackson's expertise is on the art of marketing while cultivating a long-term customer relationship in your business world. Do you know what to say or how to deliver your message to complete strangers? If so, Sony can help you. Tamara Hunter is a cancer survivor and works with people to focus their message or mission to the audience they want to reach. Do you feel called to create a movement to make the world a better place? If so, Tamara can help you. For additional information from any of our executive training directors, go to speakerspathway.com. That is speakerspathway.com. Halloween is almost here, and the Scarecrows, or Tatty Dooleys as the Scottish call them, are out. But Halloween is all about trick-or-treating, and that means candy. The average American eats 24 pounds of candy a year, and most of that consumption occurs around Halloween. What do you call a person who loves to eat? A grand gosier. Popular costumes for this year are happy face and wink face emojis. Of course, since it's a presidential election year, there are various costume choices for those who wish to dress up as Democratic candidate Hillary Clinton or Republican candidate Donald Trump. If you ask me, the only thing scarier than Halloween this year is the presidential election. What's another word for the fear of Halloween? 
Sam Hainophobia. It's words you never heard. I'm Carolyn Davidson, and you can have fun challenging your words you never heard vocabulary with my free app, Too Funny for Words. Well, welcome back to the show, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Jim Grant. Your Future is Now is sponsored by SpeakersPathway.com. If you'd like to get a complimentary gift or two, just go to SpeakersPathway.com, click on the complimentary gifts, and you might see Dr. Sony Jackson there. She's got a, a free gift for you that says Content Checklist for Converting Strangers into Clients, and she's real good at that. So feel free to you know get any, any of the gifts. And I'm joined today by two wonderful, knowledgeable people, Joanna Supas, she's a realtor with Keller Williams in Winter Park, Florida, and Eric Put. he is with the uh, Waterstone Mortgage, he is a member of the Presence Club there, he's also in the Orlando area. And during the break, we were talking about some of the things, reason it's important for you to go to a real estate agent to start your process in buying a home, whether you're a veteran or not. Because I knew a person that bought a home from a, or tried to buy a home, started to buy a home from a for sale by owner, and there was a lot of headaches there. And when you go to someone like uh, Joanna, who is licensed by the state, who has a strong, credible reputation, she provides world class service, exceptional, she has res- exceptional results for her customers. That will save you a lot of headaches and probably thousands of dollars. Am I correct on that, Joanna? Yes, I actually, this is really funny. I was at a volleyball uh, tournament and I was talking to one of the girls there and she was telling me about this really funny yet tragic um, way that she bought her home. She bought it through a for sale by owner and she just said this lady was nuts. She just, it was so hard to deal with her. And at the end, even after the closing, she wouldn't get out of the house. And when um, the, the the girl said, I wanted her to leave the house, and she sent me back 10 laugh out louds and, like, um, emojis where people – the laughing emoji, and she wouldn't leave the house. <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> right? And, and she didn't know what to do. And as a real estate agent, I would know that she is not legally allowed to be in that property anymore. She is trespassing on that property. And yeah. that's when you get the cops involved. And she, but she just had no idea what to do, the headache. And even afterwards, she was like, I wish I had called an agent because I would have had to deal with her and not her. Oh, yeah, absolutely. That's hard to believe people be like that. And this one, the one incident I was thinking about, the owner hid a lot of things to the uh, prospective buyer um, and had termite damage and a few other things. And uh, w- when you go through the process with professional people like, like Joanna and with Eric, I mean, there is a lot of things that have to be held to standard. And, you know, you know like if you're applying for a loan, especially if you're a veteran, I mean, uh, Eric, you may want to um, – fill in a few of things that that's required to protect the veterans interest. Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, I, I think I'd be remiss if I didn't even just say this. I mean, uh, you know, thank you, Jim, for your service. And you said there's the other person that's on this call too. I'm sorry. I don't remember his name, but thank you as well. And I, uh, my dad's a, was in Vietnam. Um, and he's a purple heart recipient in Vietnam war. My grandfather was in world war two. I mean, it's just a, Veterans and active duties, you know, our, our United States Armed Forces is something that's just always near and dear to my heart. So when you know that you have this loan program out there, I mean, I, I truly mean it. I, I think it is the best program, period, as a that's out there for for a buyer uh, when it comes to mortgage loans. Um, we're helping, you know, it's just it, a simple way maybe that you feel like you're giving back. You know, it's it's a great mm-hmm. thing to be a part of a any transaction, whether it's a Non-veteran or veteran, it's great to help people. Man, when oh, you do it for a veteran or active duty, it's something better. And then on top of that, you've got all these perks, you know, of the VA home loan. It's just a, you know, I guess it's a win-win is maybe what I'm trying to say. Yeah. You know, one of the things that I learned early on, and you may want to share this with the listeners there, uh, I originally thought the VA was the ones that loaned the money, but they don't, do they? No, no, not at all. VA is... You know, the long story short is think of it as an insurer. They're backing the loan. They're insuring the loan. The onus is on us. They're putting it on the lender. We as the lender are lending our money 
Um, you know, it's in the case of Waterstone Mortgage Corporation, we're a true lender. So it's our money funding the loan. It is our underwriters, our processors, our closing department, true direct lending, everything in house. It is us. And VA says, okay, no problem. You know, we're, we'll ensure that loan as long as you made sure it, it met all these guidelines, right? And that's that's a very basic explanation. But no, it is not the government. It is not the Veterans Affairs that that are that it, that is lending the money themselves. They've just created this wonderful program, you know, that mm-hmm. does not have a down payment feature. You know, that is the most important feature of the the VA home loan. It's 100% financing. Uh, there's no private mortgage or EMI, as some listeners probably have heard of or know about, um, you know, they, they've just simply created the loan that they're going to back as long as the lender's willing to, to make the loan and do it. Hmm. So if I walked into your office, uh, Joanna, and I'm, you know that I'm a veteran, I'm interested in buying a, a wonderful home because you're known in, in uh, Winter Park as your, your realtor. You are your realtor there. And anybody in Winter Park, they look up, you know, Joanna, and they say, this is my realtor. She, she's got that title there. And I'm, I'm teasing you a little bit there, Joanna. But sincerely, if I walk in and I want to buy a house and and um, I pick out a house and you find out I'm a veteran and, and I say, well, I don't know if I want to apply for the VA benefits or not. You know, I mean, it's, you know, I would want to be looking at all options because that's the way I'm wired. I want to look at both ways. I mean, no money down sounds good, but, you know, I'm looking at both ways. So what are some of the benefits that the veterans uh, – the VA loan has over conventional loan, for example, other than well, if I can just kind of chime in on that, too. I mean, I, and I don't want to speak for Joanna, but knowing how good of a real estate agent she is and thorough, you know, it, you're always going to defer financing questions, you know, direct ones to the lender. And, and then to answer that question, I think we do because I, I appreciate you saying options. I mean, I'll be the first one to say, hey, look, let's look at some other things. There are other wonderful loan programs out there. Mm-hmm. Um, it is possible that even if we're talking about a veteran or an active duty member that that qualifies for the VA home loan, it's possible that maybe we need to do something else. You know, it's possible that conventional loan just simply may be better. Normally, very, very quickly, what we find out as a lender is budget for down payment, budget for closing costs. You know, how much can you truly spend? And, you know, number one. A wonderful benefit of the program, it's no money down. And most VA home loans, an overwhelming majority, especially if it's the first time they've ever got it, we're, they're exercising that right to not put any money down. And why wouldn't you? You know, um, especially if they're first time buyers and they, you know, they may have some funds, but they don't want to spend everything in the bank. So that they have in the bank. So we'll quickly find out that, that budget and, mm-hmm. And that's going to dictate, hey, look, are we going to put any money down or not? Uh, Because you can still put some money down on a VA home loan, but usually it doesn't make sense. Usually it makes a lot more sense to keep it, keep it in the bank, keep letting it work for you, take advantage of no money down, no PMI. We'll find that out right away. And that's one of the, 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 if if not the first one, one, two, three things that we're going to find out quickly is, is this truly going to be the right program for you? And I will say this too, Jim, most of the time, it is an overwhelming majority. I believe that because I know every time we've moved, I mean, there's two things that become very evident. Number one, it takes much, much longer to move all the stuff. <laughs> I remember last time me and my wife moved, she sat down on the stairs. She says, I think I'm going to cry. I said, well, don't start because if you do, I'm going to join you because the big stuff goes real quickly. The small stuff is what takes seems like forever, plus the hidden cost of moving. So if you... If you're able to take advantage of the VA home loan with no money down, you've got a cushion there to be able to pay for the additional expenses and things of this nature for moving because it runs into money in a hurry. You know, it really does. And, Joanna, there in the uh, in the Winter Park area in real estate, uh, share with us some of your experience in dealing with veterans there and what they're looking for. Are there a limit on houses, what they can look for, things of this nature? Would you be kind enough to share that? with us please oh, um yeah of course not not at all they can look at anything the actually oddly enough with a lot of veterans that i've been working with there is an astounding amount of new construction going on in orlando and a lot of my veterans just go for the new construction homes and it's really amazing that these builders will gladly take va loans and um they will 
you know, do some of the underwriting as well and incentivize people to kind of come and, and go into houses that are being built brand new. Um, Winter Park is more of older homes. There's not a lot of new construction in this area. It's more of an established community. And even then, what I do when I have a client that comes in for a consultation, we analyze their needs. We analyze what they're looking for, what areas they want to live. And then I send them to be pre-qualified or pre-approved with a lender. And then we go out there and we start selecting prop- properties. We start viewing properties. And, you know, hopefully soon they'll like something and we'll be able to write an offer to purchase a property. And um, so that can be in Winter Park or it can be outside of Winter Park. There is any I will be good with anything in Central Florida, um, but also to a lot of listeners that maybe are not in the Florida area. I also have a huge network of great agents all around the nation, all around the world. And I would be happy to refer anyone to any agent um, and I could find a great agent for you as well. That's a great benefit, Joanna. Thank you so much, Ben. That's just typical of what I saw when you and Eric were on the the summit there with your presentation there with uh, Colonel Mark Green, was that you're just so willing to give, and that just really impressed me. And, um, Eric, uh, I want to ask you a question. There is a, I believe there's a limit of 480 thousand dollars on the VA loan. Is that correct, sir? Correct. Currently, the um, and how the program has is, is worked for you know, I think if not forever, maybe darn close to it is the maximum loan limits will follow the conforming loan limits set in this country. So currently the maximum conforming loan limit in the United States of America, I mean, this is everywhere except for some areas that are considered high cost. Mm-hmm. Uh, that amount is 484,350, which is kind of a weird number. Um, yeah. It's $484,350. Okay. So, what that means is right now a veteran could buy a home up to that amount and use their full benefit of and, and not having to put any money down. 100% financing is available up to 484350 It does not, however, mean a veteran can't purchase a home more than that. Mm-hmm. Um, they can purchase a home for 500 They can purchase a home for 600 They can purchase a home for 700000 Mm-hmm. Once you go, once you, we'll be right back right after these messages, ladies and gentlemen. This show, Your Future Is Now, is sponsored by SpeakersPathway.com. And just like the show, we are dedicated and aligned in perfect harmony with the same vision and mission of helping people to find their future. Is fear holding you back from your calling or your life mission? Do you struggle with taking that first step? If so, Bill Henrich is our catalyst to help you create perspectives with new possibilities that will bring you more peace more joy, more love in your life and freedom. Do you struggle trying to build your strategy? Do you know how to reach your end results? If not, Gigi Ames is your expert in strategy and helping you create your step-by-step game plan to reach your finish line. For more information on creating the life you want to live, reach out to Bill Henrich. Or if Gigi Ames can help you with building your strategy with your end goal in sight, Go to speakerspathway.com. That is speakerspathway.com. It's words you never heard. Next time your parents or grandparents complain about walking to school uphill both ways, you can tell them about a village in China where getting to school is a real adventure. In the mountainous Sichuan province, children have to get to school from their tiny village of Atular by rappelling, abseiling, and clambering down a 2,500-foot cliff. Using ropes and bamboo ladders to scale this one-half-mile-high brachtumic, the journey is so difficult that the school children, ages 6 to 15, only return home every two weeks. What's the word for the fear of heights? 
Hipsophobia. A new set of steel stairs is now being considered to help make the journey to school safer. By the way, a rock hummock is a hill so steep it hurts the stomach of anyone who tries to climb it. It's marching down. I'm Carolyn Davidson, and you can have fun challenging your words you never heard vocabulary with my free app, Too Funny for Words. And welcome back to the show, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Jim Grant, host of Your Future Is Now. We are sponsored by SpeakersPathway.com, where we offer complimentary gifts so go at speakerspathway.com and get your free complimentary gifts right before the break eric was talking very much some good stuff about the uh the va loan and, and eric i'm just gonna let you pick up right where you left off sir. sure thanks so you know the maximum va loan limit right now currently under the current rules is 484 350 484 350 dollars that means a customer can buy a home up to that amount and not put any money down they can still buy a home for more than that. There's just then a formula. Um, so you you could buy a home for six hundred thousand dollars, let's say, and then you do the math that the difference between six hundred thousand and four eighty four three fifty. So that's you know, quick math, hundred fifteen grand. You take twenty five percent of that difference. That essentially becomes the down payment. So it is still phenomenal. Because even at that price point, you're still talking about a very minimal down payment on a VA loan that does not have private mortgage insurance, right? But currently right now, you're, you're capped at the, v, the veteran or, or borrower is capped at 484, 350 if they don't want to put any money down. Now, on January 1st, 2020, it looks like the rules are going to be changing. That basically says you can get 100% financing even when you go above the 484, 350 route. It's not going to apply in necessarily every single state and area. The official details of the announcement's not out, but we as a lender and as a real estate agent, I mean, this is great news for Joanna. It's great news for us. It means that we can go get even higher on our maximum price points with a very little or no money down. And what that does is opens up even even uh, more inventory for buyers and, and even a more pool of prospects for us as a lender and, and her as a real estate agent. That's really amazing because, um, you know, the interest rates is also something people are very much interested in because we hear, you know, I get emails every day or practically every week or something that the interest rates are lowest now than they've ever been. And, you know, I don't know too much about that. So if you'd like to give us an update on interest rate, the market of it, I appreciate it. Yeah, uh, insanely low. <laughs> That's what I'd say about them. Um, you know, uh, one year ago today, interest rates were about 100 basis points higher. And to make that real simple, just think about it as a, a percentage point. A full percentage point roughly one year ago today is where interest rates were. And one year ago today, interest rates were still obviously historically low. So to think that they're that much lower right now on average, and we've seen them creep up the last few days, but you know we saw this unexpected drop in interest rates a couple months ago. And this, this, that's a topic for another show as to why and what happened and what's going to happen. But what we do feel as lending professionals is they're going to stay at this really, 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 really low level for a while. And yeah, there'll, there'll be bumps in the road, ups and downs and things like that. Um, so nobody can predict the, the future. If, you know, if I had a crystal ball, I'd, I'd be on a, I'd be on a beach right now doing this show with you, you know, retired on a private Island, but yeah. Yeah. I still feel like there's enough evidence in the marketplace, what's happening, what's going on, that these rates are going to stay just so low. So that means what? Now this the veteran can afford more home. Um, you know, they're, they're affording more home because the rate is so much lower on a loan program that doesn't require a down payment and also doesn't have monthly mortgage insurance. So, I mean, it's just a – it's a great time for anybody to buy. But, man, the VA loan program um, is as bright as maybe it's ever been, you know, in my opinion. Yeah, because I know Joanna was very high on that and really, uh, you know, stressed the fact that, you know, um, using uh, for veterans to utilize their VA loan a privilege, and it's a privilege. It really is. It's something that we earned. Absolutely. Being a veteran. And uh, it's a wonderful route to go. And uh, what are some of the misconceptions? Maybe I should have covered that earlier and maybe more in detail about what are some of the misconceptions about the VA loan? 
Well, I think you can, I can, you know, of course address the um, loan specific aspects, but there's maybe some real estate agent aspects of it too. But on the loan side, it's people think, um, people think that, uh, oh, I just can't qualify. It's going to be too hard to qualify. We still get that a lot. And it's kind of the, the opposite of that. You know, there are some, some looser underwriting guidelines. Um, there are, um, people think that there's just too much documentation, um, that's involved. There's, there's no difference. There's really no differences in that. Um, there's people think that the seller, um, is not going to be able to, um, uh, pay for certain fees that are a part of it. And there were some rules that changed years ago, but that's not true either. There's just standard closing costs. that The seller can contribute toward closing costs. The veteran is allowed to pay for, for standard closing costs now. Just characteristics about the loan, there's so many things that people um, think is, is are characteristics that actually aren't. And um, I'd probably say the biggest one is people think that the, the VA – appraisal process is just terrible, you know, because it's going to take too long and the VA appraisers are always going to come in low. It's just not true. The VA appraiser is required to do some other things that let's say a appraiser wouldn't do on a conventional home loan or an FHA loan, but there's no correlation in value of a home and the fact that somebody's getting a VA home loan, none whatsoever. Mm -hmm. um, and, and, you know, the other popular one is people just think the loan program takes too long to close. And it's just... They don't take any longer than any other program. It's as simple as that. That's one of the things that I have stuck in my mind when I went through my VA process back in 1983. I thought, wow, this is taking so much longer. It kept passing paperwork and paperwork. So that's maybe in the old days before everything got more streamlined and, you know, everything got more uniform, if I could use that term. Um, it maybe it just maybe might have, might have been the real estate agent and the, the um, lending you know, Company, I was, mortgage company I was dealing with. I mean, it's really hard to say. No, I, I think you're right. I mean, we, we certainly live in a world where it's much more automated. And, mm -hmm. heck, in 10 years, it's going to look, you know, five years, completely different from what it is now. And it's pretty automated now. But, yeah, I mean, my mom's a retired mortgage lender. So, I, I know. It, it just, you know, it, it took a lot longer, you know, years ago. So, that's for sure. Yeah, and I think, you know, one of the other things is the WDO and the wood rot. And even though the appraisal does, you know, ask for that um, additional um, termite control and all that, I mean, it's still not a big deal to, to do that, especially in Florida where you probably should be doing it anyway. Um, but I totally agree with Eric. Uh, with all of the VA loans that I've done, it's – has it's been pretty seamless. There really hasn't been anything that's been, you know, so different that I'm just like, oh, I don't want to work with veterans or sellers don't want to work with veterans. It's been completely, um, you know, normal. And there's really nothing that's very different in in the overall aspect of it when you're going out there and and considering conventional versus a VA or or something of that nature. And just to chime in on that, you know, it's the lender's job too. To make sure it's is streamlined, you know, most of the time when you hear bad things about it, um, I'm sorry, but the reality is it's just a lender that messed up, didn't know the right way to do it, wasn't thorough enough on the front end. That that's that's what you see more often. Hmm. That's really amazing because Joanna, I'm I'm glad you brought that up about the inspections and stuff like that for termites and wood rot and all that because. Uh, uh, I know this uh, one individual that bought that home from the uh, private owner, you know, and the, you know, the person was just very, uh, well, they, they hit things and that right. can be very, very expensive to someone. That's why it's so valuable to use someone that's licensed like you are, that's a professional. And cause you know, the, you know, the laws of the land, you know, the, the pit, the pitfalls ahead of the road and you can save someone a lot of headache and thousands of dollars. I know that it. Oh yeah, um, absolutely. And, and it's funny because, um, like, I just have a, a, a contract under, and there's this thing in Florida called an as-is contract. And my buyer, we did an inspection, and my buyer said, oh, well, these are some issues, and we went over them. And he said, but it's an as-is contract, so I don't really need – so I can't do anything. There's nothing that we can get fixed. And I said, absolutely not. We're going to go in there. We're going to tell the seller these are the issues, and we're going to try to get all of them fixed. But, you know, if you are kind of just thinking – 
well, it's as is. So what? So I obviously I can't do anything. Well, that's not true. So if you have a professional, they know exactly what they can fight. They know what what they can negotiate. They know what the standard in the industry is. So people don't get put into a situation. How, well, being in a in a in a vulnerable situation where they have a misconception about what the contract means, how to interpret it when you don't know, because I see contracts every day, all day. That's all I do for years on, on end. So I know exactly what they're supposed to mean and how they're legally read. So, you know, um, it does make a difference. Oh yeah, absolutely. When you said that, you know, as is, I mean, that's an old term you use that you'll see with a, a used car or something. And, uh, that's where all that stuff generated from. So if someone is not dealing with a professional licensed real estate agent like you, they can just take that as gospel when it's not. Right. And I'm exactly. glad you, I'm glad you shared that with them. I mean, cause goodness, there's a lot of things out there. And Joanna, you probably could talk through a three hours on some of the problems that you've seen out there. Would just share something with, you know, with the audience, if you would, please. Um, on just contracts or what, what in general? I'm sorry. Uh, just in general. You've seen people run into that they may have misconceptions about the, you know, the home or they may be ignorant of the buying process. They don't realize the value there as far as protecting their interest and saving them headaches and thousands of dollars and things of this nature. Right. Well, I think the biggest thing is probably the negotiating and the counter offer, right? People get so emotionally connected to something that they mm. That third party just to say, are you really going to lose hundreds of thousands of dollars for five hundred dollars? Right. Um, and so I think that's the biggest key is when, you know, sometimes like I have clients that get very emotional about what people are offering or counter offering and just say, well, how dare he offer me that amount? Well, mm. you know, in all honesty, what an offer is better than no offer. Right. Oh, then, yeah. And just because they gave a low offer doesn't mean that we can't go back to them objectively. And, you know, I would look at the data in the MLS and say, you know, this is what is being sold in that neighborhood in this price. So your Mm -hmm. offer isn't making sense to us. Let's instead put this, you know, higher offer. And, you know, you have to take that centralization out of it. Yeah, exactly. Because up here, right up the road from where I live, there's a guy. He put his house out there. He was going to for sale by owner by himself, and he put like a million and a half dollar one 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 point five million dollars on this thing. And I'm thinking, my goodness gracious, this place is worth one point five. Mine's got to be worth at least three. <laughs> we'll be right back, right after these messages. Your Future Is Now is sponsored by SpeakersPathway.com. And just like the show, we are dedicated and aligned in perfect harmony with the same vision and mission of helping people define their future. You may have heard that a picture is worth a thousand words. Well, a video is worth a thousand pictures. Koji Zamaldi says, if you're not using video in 2019, you're going to get left behind. Most people feel lost or confused when it comes to marketing. Preston Martelli is a marketing guru whose strategies are both art and science in growing your business. Preston helps you make the right decisions that are predictable, measurable, and scalable. For additional information about Koji, Preston, or any of our executive training directors, go to our website at speakerspathway.com. That is speakerspathway.com. Did you know you can burn as many calories in 45 minutes of yard work as in 30 minutes of aerobics? Yard work is a total body workout consisting of pushing, pulling, lifting, and carrying. Using a push mower alone can burn 300 to 500 calories in an hour. Raking and bagging with a pooking fork, that's a fork often used in gardening, burns about 330 calories per hour. Cleaning and digging with the dibble, that little hand spade, can burn approximately 400 calories an hour. Stay fit by horb gorbling. That's just puttering around the yard. 
to me, a perfect summer day is when the sun is shining, the birds are singing, and the lawnmower is broken. It's words you never heard. I'm Carolyn Davidson, and you can have fun challenging your words you never heard vocabulary with my free app, Too Funny for Words. And welcome back to the show, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Jim Grant. Your Future is Now is sponsored by SpeakersPathway.com. And just go to SpeakersPathway.com, click on the complimentary gifts, and just take one or more of those gifts that you like. They're free of charge, no strings attached. We don't get in any sales pitches or won't jam up your inbox trying to sell you something else. We provide value. And that's exactly what Joanna and Eric is with us today. They're joining us from uh, in Florida. Uh, they're in the, from the Orlando area. And they're providing a lot of value to veterans about homeowners, you know, using the VA loan when they buy a house. And I asked a question during the uh, break. If you're in the, if you're listening to this show and you're thinking, well, I'm a veteran. I've got a conventional loan and I've never used my VA, you know, loan or my, my privilege there. And I always get this stuff about refinancing. Um, what would be the first step in possibility? What's in, you know, what's the benefit for the, for the veteran? Well, you know, the first step I would say is be very wary to call any of the solicitors that are um, absolutely sending you stuff right now in the mail. If you're a, mm. somebody that has a mortgage loan, you're getting a lot of stuff sent to you. And you got to just be very wary. I mean, I just think it's always good to stay local. Call the person who helped you in the past, if he or she's still in the business, call somebody you know. Like, call a true professional where you can at least have a dotted line or direct line to, to trust. So that being said, um, it's a great time to refi. I mean, it just is what it is. Interest rates are, are very, very low. So whether you're looking to shorten your term, whether you're looking to just lower your payment, whether you're looking to pull some cash out because you've you know experienced some good equity and built up some good equity over the last few years, it's a great time to look at it. As I was just telling your producer, doesn't mean you absolutely will, but you'd be doing yourself a disservice if you didn't take a hard look at potentially refinancing right now. Um, whether you have a conventional FHA, VA, home loan, whatever it is, you should look at it. Now, if you've got a conventional mortgage loan, let's say, and you're a veteran, you're, you have your entitlement, you can use a VA loan, generally speaking, you probably would not then go to the VA program um, because, you know, especially if you're not exempt from a funding fee, because you're going to end up having to finance more. And it, the, the economics of it generally would not make sense if you've had a conventional mortgage loan for a little while. However, it doesn't mean that there are there are not people out there that could benefit from conventional to VA or from FHA to VA or something. Um, so you just got to take a look at it and have that conversation. One thing, though, if you are, if you do currently have a VA home mortgage, VA has a, an extremely, extremely easy and wonderful refinance program where you go from VA to VA. You know, I've got a our VA loan, and I'm just going to do a new one, and it's called an IRL, I-R-R-L, the Interest Rate Reduction Loan. Um, mm-hmm. It's the easiest mortgage loan anybody will ever do. No appraisal required, very limited documentation. Um, it's just it, – it, basically, it's just you sign sign some disclosures. It's not at all like the normal process. It's only for the VA program. It's called the Interest Rate Reduction Loan. So if you're a listener or if you know anybody that has currently has a VA home loan – they got to at least take a look at this for all program to see if it makes sense. It may not, it may not, but you got to at least take a look at it. At least you'll know the facts. And that's the bottom line. Yeah. That's, that's the only time you can make a great decision. And we still got a lot of time left in the show, but I just want to give a shout out to <clears throat> Joanna because Joanna, you, you did a great job in putting together a great presentation for veterans there on uh, Mark Green's summit. And you were very instrumental, ladies and gentlemen. Joanna was very instrumental in putting this show together uh, with Eric and me and herself. She was just, she's the glue that put this thing together. And I just want to give a shout out to you, girl, and just say thank you so much because you make me and Eric look good. <laughs> no, I, you guys make me look good. I really appreciate everything. And I, and I love the information that you're putting out there. And I love listening to Eric talk as well because it just reinforces, um, 
aspects that maybe I was just maybe forgot about. I was like, okay, yeah, I remember that now. So it was great just listening to you guys as well. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And what really impressed me about you earlier is the fact that you uh, voluntarily just says, hey, if you got a question about me, you know, you're in, let's say you're in uh, Phoenix, Arizona or Los Angeles, California, wherever, and you're looking to buy a house and you'd like you've listened to the show, you've heard me talk and you'd like me to refer you to someone that's trusted. Please get in touch with me. Joanna, would you be so kind as to tell people your website? and your email address and how people can get in touch with you, please. Yes, absolutely. Probably the easiest way is email Joanna, J-O-A-N-A dot Zupas, Z-U-P-P-A-S at K-W dot com. Um, I'm also on Facebook, Joanna Zupas Real Estate. That's my business page. And I'm also on Instagram, uh, Joanna Zupas. So if you guys want any of those avenues work perfectly for me um i mean i could also give my phone number but <laughs> that's okay that's okay. because uh, after the show is over we're gonna uh, er- eric i mean um uh, eric listen to me uh, ben our producer he's in studio number one there in tyler texas he's he's there he's the one's cranking the machine as we're talking <laughs> okay. but uh, he's going to edit the show and i'm going to be putting some information there we'll get the websites in there so please feel free to contact joanna and also eric if you'd be so kind as to share your information with the listening audience, please, sir. Sure. Yeah. Um, my website's real easy. It's just uh, my first and last name, homeloans.com. So it's Eric Putt, homeloans.com. Putt is like uh, like golf, you know, put a golf ball. So Eric Putt, homeloans.com. Um, pretty simple. It's got all the information that's right there uh, as far as all of my other contact info, email, phone numbers, cell phone, you know, office phone. Um, but it's also great because there's great tools. We've got a great financing calculator on there. There's you know, great ways to stay in touch with me to get into my database to where we can start communicating. That You can do the application there. So that's a, a real good site for that. So that's Eric Putt, P-U-T-T, homeloans.com. You got it. I'm making myself a note there and make my job easier when I get ready to put the information in there that Ben will need as our producer so we can get your show published. But also, too, let me ask another interesting question because I had a real good friend of mine. We served together in uh, Tainan, Vietnam in 1969 and 1970. His name was Paul Tuttle, and we lost Paul uh, almost a year ago. And his wife contacted me because she was trying to get some information on the VA, the DD-214. She didn't even know what that thing was. But if someone is a spouse of a deceased veteran, a child of a deceased veteran, are there any benefits there for them for a VA loan? Could you help us out, please? Uh, they are certainly entitled to that benefit. Um, spouse of, of, of someone, um, I mean, it's just really the, the easiest way to say is, yeah, they, they, they are entitled. So um, another wonderful benefit to the loan program itself, that person would just do the application process and contact the lender and real estate agent, just like we did when we were talking about the, you know, the veteran him or herself. So it's just that simple. They come in and they, you know, what kind of information would they need? Because uh, like uh, uh, Paul's widow, she didn't know what a DD-214 was. She'd never heard of it. And DD stands for Department of Defense. That's the form for all of the people that serve in the military, whether it's Air Force, Army, Marines, whatever. That's the umbrella. So that's the DD, the Department of Defense, form 214. That's a recording of their service. And um, so they can just walk into a real estate, um, I mean, to like you, Eric, or real estate office either way, Jonah, and just say, this is, I'm using VA loan. My husband or or my wife was a veteran, and I understand I got to have some form or whatever. They just start with that, and you can get the ball rolling for them. Yeah, we would, um, that DD-214 is a discharge paperwork, and if if they do, do not have it, we facilitate, you know, with it now. They may have to call and get it from the VA office. So um, in Florida, we there, there's the main St. Petersburg, Florida, main VA office that and everything runs through. So they contact them directly and, you know, it's into the system. And um, like I was saying before, it's a pretty, pretty fast turn time that they can actually get um, a copy of that form. 
Yeah, that's the way the government works because they want to make sure they get the right information to the right person. Uh, we just got to know some Ben. We got about three minutes left. Uh, uh, you know, is there anything else you guys would like to share with the listening audience? Please do. And, you know, just anything that you want to make sure we get uh, on the uh, program here today. Um, sure. I'll, I'll end by saying that as uh, a buyer's agent, so if I'm helping you purchase a home in Florida, that expense is being paid for by the seller. Um, so I don't know, some states might have it differently, but at least in Florida, you won't need to worry about having to pay me. All I get, the only way that I get get paid is if I close and the seller will then transfer that money to me at closing. Um, so essentially using a buyer's agent is a way for you to be represented. So you know what your rights are, you know, the best and quickest way so that you don't have to go through endless amounts of time, money, and frustration trying Mm. to find something on your own. It's my job to do that for you. So, and that's that's amazing because I'm glad you shared that with uh, everyone because uh, if, if I ever want to move to Orlando, Florida, I'm going to come and see you, buy the house from you, and I'm going to have Eric get me a, a VA loan. So I won't have no money out of my pocket either way. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's it's just a tremendous opportunity, and it's it's a great way for the veterans to be able to take advantage of, you know, some of the things that they paid the price for because uh, – you know, it's kind of like that old saying, some gave all and all gave some, you know. Mm-hmm. And uh, we tip our hat to those and we thank those that served in the military. Um, you know, it's just, and Eric, I just want to thank you for joining us today. Is there anything else you want to share before we, uh, we got about two a minute and a half left? Well, I would again, just say thanks for having me and I appreciate your service and the service of anyone else out there listening. Um, when, when it comes to mortgage financing, I guess I'd end by saying, if you're getting a home loan, um, make sure you get pre-approved. Do not get pre-qualified. There are two different things. And if the lender has trouble trying to explain it to you, then that's not the lender to talk to. Get pre-approved. It's very, very easy. Um, it does, does mean you got to do a little bit more on the front end, but get pre-approved, especially in a very competitive marketplace, because that's really what Joanna needs. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. And I just want to say, you know, thank you both for being with us today as we've got about 30 seconds left. I want to make sure again that I give a shout out to Joanna because she put together, you know, the great presentation that I saw there at the summit with uh, Colonel Mark Green. And she was the reason why that we have this show today and she, the, all the good information that came. I mean, you know, Joanna, thank you again because you put everything together. You give me all the me sound intelligent, ask intelligent questions and all that. And I really do want to thank you personally from the bottom of my heart. You really made this show a success. Thank you. Thank you, Jim. You, you're amazing. Thank you. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for today. Thank you so much for tuning in. We'll be back next week. Have a great weekend.